Hello. Today, we are going to learn about how to calculate discount markup and sales tax. And this is as real world as pre-algebra gets. I know a lot of the stuff we cover in pre-algebra is something that only engineers and electricians and other weird people are going to be using. But this is everyday math. And you really need to pay attention to how to do it because if you don't do it right, you could end up paying too much for what you're buying every day. Okay, so the objective there, discount. This is a vocabulary word. Discount is the amount by which regular price is reduced. So if it's reduced, it makes it smaller, which means the discount gets subtracted from the price. Markup. Markup is the amount the price of an item is increased above the price the store paid for the item. This is the, the part where the store makes profit off of it. They pay so much, they charge you more, they make a profit. Then there it is, sales tax. This is how the man makes his money. Right, we got the tax man comes around and he gets an additional amount of money charged on certain goods and services. So sales tax is also going to be added to the price. Markup is added, sales tax is added, discount is subtracted. Now we previously weren't learned about the percent proportion. And I told you when we learned the proportion that we are going to be using it to learn how to use a proportion, not so much about how to calculate percents, because there are easier ways of calculating percents. Let's take a look at the formula here. I can do that percent conversion in my head. Most of you can too. It's just a matter of convert, dividing the percent by 100, which is moving the decimal two places to the left. So if I write that as just a percent, and in my head, tell myself that I'm going to be writing that as a decimal, that gets rid of that whole divide by 100 part there. I don't like divide. Let's make it multiply instead. Well, to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides of the formula by the whole. When I do that, the wholes will cancel out on this side, so you get part equals percent times the whole. It's a simpler formula, easier to work with, as long as you remember that in this particular formula, the percent is as a decimal. So you have to divide the percent by 100 before plugging it into this formula. We're going to work with this to figure out discount, markup, and sales tax, because all three of those are parts. They're not the whole, they are part of the price. So if you know the percent and you know the whole, you can figure out what the tax, the discount, all that is based on the percent times the whole. Let's go through the manufacturing process. Here we've got Dean. Dean makes jeans for a living. He sells them for $10 each to Target. Target marks up the jeans 250%. How much does Target charge? Now, at first, it may sound ridiculous to mark something up 250%. That's more reality. They do actually mark it up quite as much as that, even more. But let's go with our formula. Now, the formula says the part equals the percent times the whole. The whole would be the $10. The percent is the 250% that they're charging for markup. So the percent is 250 divided by 100, because you want to have the decimal version of it. So it's 2.50 times our $10, which is going to give us 25.0. That's the part. And the part is the markup. Markup. Not the whole price. They're not charging $25. They need to charge the original 10 plus the $25 they're charging out of that. So the, the total price is 10 plus 25 
the selling price is going to be $35 for those jeans. All right, now Target has those jeans for a while. And jeans, jeans, these jeans aren't selling well, and Target needs to make room for next year's new clothing line. So they discount those jeans by 30%. They're on sale. How much do they now charge for Dean's jeans? Well, to figure that out, I need to figure out what 30% of the price was. Now, the price from before, remember, we said was $35. So we're looking for 30% of the 35. We do the part equals the percent times the whole. The percent would be 0 0.3. Dividing that 30 by 100 gives us 0.3. Multiplied by the whole, which is our $35. And we're going to get $10.50. So the discount is $10.50. That's not how much you're paying. That's how much the discount is. The sales price, what they're charging, it's going to be the 35 minus 35 minus the ten dollars and fifty cents which is going to give me twenty four dollars and fifty cents that's the discounted sale price of those jeans right, now let's take this one step further This is a local Target store, so they charge 6% sales tax. Yeah, I know the hammock landing is 7%. Forget that. It's a 6% sales tax is how much is being charged. How much would it cost for one pair of jeans? Well, we know the sale price is now We're going to multiply that by the 6% as a decimal. One, two places over, I get 0 0.06 times the 24.5. Now I do 6 times 5 is 30, 24, 27, 12, uh, the 2 is 14. Three decimal places. So it's going to be one dollar and forty-seven cents. When we do the multiplying there, you get one dollar and forty-seven cents. Yes, there's a zero there, but we round that off because we're talking about money. So it's a dollar forty-seven. Add that dollar forty-seven. It is sales tax, so it does bring the price up. So we are going to add it to the twenty-four dollars and fifty cents, and that's going to give you twenty-five ninety-seven. When you go to the register on the sale price, that's how much you're going to pay because of 6% sales tax. Alright, moving on to a little wrap up here. The step breakdown, you calculate the percent using the part equals percent times whole where the percent is a decimal. You add or subtract from the original, to or from the original. If it's tax, markup, or tip, we're going to talk more about tip in the next video. Tax markup and tip, you're adding it. If it's discount, you're subtracting. Markup plus the price the store pays. When you're playing, when you're doing markup, you're adding that to the store, the, pr the, the price the store pays. Not the sale price going out the door there, the price the store itself pays. Sometimes they call this the wholesale price. When you're talking about tax, you're adding that to the price the store charges or their bill. Tip is calculated on the price without the tax. When you're asked to calculate a tip, you're calculating the tip based on the price without the tax. A lot of people don't do that when, they, when they're calculating their tip, and they end up tipping more than they really need to. Not that the waiters or waitresses mind. Anyway, we're going to talk more about tip in the next video. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to have our field trip to Chili's. Enjoy.